we're now going to look at the hamstring muscles. This is a very common name that most people know. Your hamstrings run down the back of your thigh. There are two sets of muscles that attach to this sitting bone. The first, which runs out to the outside, so it's the lateral muscle, is called the biceps femoris. So remembering, it arises from the sitting bone, it runs down and the tendon wraps around the back of the knee and attaches into the bone on the outside of the lower leg, which is called your fibula. So this is a muscle that runs across two joints. That's running across the hip joint and this is running across the knee joint. It's called the biceps because that means two heads. So the first head is the main one attaching to the sitting bone. The second, which you can't see on this particular uh, drawing, is actually attaches to the long bone, the femur, and it's called the biceps femoris, because femoris is of the femur. So that's the outer muscle. The inner part of the hamstrings is made up of two muscles, and they have very long names. They both begin with semi, which means half. So you have a semi-tendinosis and a semi-membranosis. The both of them have very long tendons and the semitendinosis is the more superficial, the membranosis is tucked underneath it. They both act together, the tendons come down, they run around the inside of the knee and at the back and then they sweep around and attach to the tibia and all together this structure here which you can feel around the back and the inside of your leg of your knee is called the pes anserine, and this is quite an important stabilizer of the knee. So what these muscles do, they always or almost invariably act together and they do two things. They pull the leg towards us and if it contracts it will extend the hip, so pull the leg towards us, the top of the leg, and it will flex the knee, so it will pull the bottom of the leg towards us. Therefore, the way they work is as you walk, as you extend your leg, they will help push your body forward as during walking, during running, during jumping. And the way you injure your leg is to do exactly the opposite. So you can see someone jumping over hurdles. The front leg that jumps over the hurdle, that is stretching the hamstrings to their full extent. So you're flexing your hip, extending your knee, and that movement. So if you were to fall down, slip, and stretch your leg out in front of you, that will classically cause a hamstring injury. It may injure the tendons, but very, very often you will get trigger points in the muscles themselves. There are quite a lot of trigger points that occur in both of these muscles, and they can be neatly divided into those that occur on the inside of the leg and those that occur on the outside. So the ones that occur on the inside, which remember are into the semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis, is a, a bunch that run largely in the center of the muscle and one that runs lower down in the, in the thigh. And these will refer pain up into the lower part of the buttock, into the gluteal fold, which is the fold that joins your buttock to your leg. And then you may get some pain running down the back of your thigh. So those are the inner triggers give you pain that largely focuses right into your buttock and the gluteal fold and running down the back of your thigh. Trigger points in the lateral and the biceps femoris also occur in the center part of the muscles and you get them clustered around this area here. This pain is actually referred downwards so you would feel it behind the back of your knee. And there are lots of people that have knee pain and they feel it in the back of the knee and the doctor examines the knee. You may even have MRIs, you have all sorts of things done. And they say, well, look, we can't really find very much wrong with your knee. Look up here, because this is a potent cause of pain at the back of the knee. It also may affect or cause pain running up the back of the thigh, but this is where it focuses. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.